Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Place here, back in another video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, for everybody new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button right now and turn on that post notifications because there's a lot more tutorials coming and this is a great way for you to learn and um, yeah, you'll love it. Um, also, if you want, join the Discord in the description. We do have a giveaway going on since we just hit 20,000 subscribers, guys. I'm so happy. Um, I am giving away three $10 Robux gift cards, so feel free to check that out in the description because you guys will not regret it. But um, yeah, so in this tutorial, we are going to be going on to the second episode of the scripting series, and it is going to be on variables. Now, um, this is going to be a simple tutorial, so if people who are brand new to scripting, feel free to watch this. But people who are just already know about this kind of stuff, you don't really need to watch this, but you may learn a few things. Um, so recently, we left off with the local scripts and server scripts. But um, in this video, we're going to really just go on to what variables are. Um, so what I want you guys to do is we're actually just going to make a thing in server script service and we're going to do a new script. And we are going to basically start off by talking about variables. So variables are something that hold data and we can access them later basically in our script. Um, they are only they are script specific so that means they can only be accessed in the script that it is in. So as in saying we can only access this script up here. Um, so basically, there's a lot of ways of saying this, okay? We have uh, local, which is basically defining it um, in the script. There's local variables and then there's global variables. Um, but local variables are actually more faster than global variables. It's a, basically a performance boost. So that's why we use local variables mainly more than global. And the difference between the two is basically saying, okay, I'm just going to talk about this in a second, but um, local my vari uh, var equals true. But you could do uh, my var2 equals false. Um, so this this would basically, oops, sorry, this would basically be a local variable and this would be a global. Um, now, like I said, you want to use local mainly and this all also helps out later in functions and scripts because you may accidentally um, change a global variable that you wouldn't want to change. So that's kind of what we're talking about. Um, and you'll see what I mean later. But um, yeah, so talking about uh, variables, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, let's just say we're going to start off by just doing a little test and we're going to do, um, we're going to show you all the ways you can do the certain variables. So we have true and false, which are basically Booleans. Um, so those are two of the Booleans that you can do is true or false. Um, then there's actually, you can do strings. So basically strings would be put as a name. So it'd be printing out this. Um, so there's a lot of ways to test and see what you're wanting or what you have. So we'll say, um, well, I should just do all of them. So string var equals um, string var. So this would be string. Um, and then, oops, sorry. See how that's uh, non-existent right there. And then, um, oh, let's see here. Uh, incomplete send function call. Sorry, wait, did I do something wrong here? Oh, sorry. No, it's just because that's right there. So then we're just going to do bool var, which is going to be set to true. And we're going to do int var, which is set to 10. And then we are going to blah, 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 do something else where we're actually going to do, um, we're going to get a part right here. And when we insert this part, we're just going to put this right here and we're going to call this um, twin for fun. And we're going to put that right there. And then we're going to go local twin equals game.workspace.twin. All right, so there is a lot to this. Um, these are basically all the local variables that you could basically understand for a sec. Um, there's a lot of services you can do like local, um, let's see, server script service, you know, equals game, um, get service, and then you could do server, oh, server script service. So there's a lot to this. Um, local variables are what we're going to be using to store data in and how we just change things later. Um, that's like saying uh, local players equals game uh, get service and then players and then you know dot player added or something like that. You know you could do local player equals that basically. Um, so that's kind of what we're talking about when we go to um, talk about players and um, everything like that. So that's kind of what we're saying. Um, so talking about how we can use these and how we can utilize them um there's a lot of cool ways but let's just print these out real quick so bool var print uh int var and we're going to do print uh twin and we're going to do dot name actually and we're going to do print and then we're going to do uh player so there's gonna be a few things and you'll see what i mean so to test these out like i said guys you can just uh you can click this and hit run um it should just print out right here for you 
So um, we have the string, which is correct because this is string, that's the name. And then we have true because the bool variable is true. And then we have 10 because the int variable is set to 10. Um, so that's an integer, by the way, integer, boolean, string, and then twin, which is basically the part in the, cert in the workspace is going to be twin. And then this is just signal player added. This is not actually the player like me because we aren't um, testing it out. But so that's all in the server script. So what are the ways you can use these? What can you do really with them? You can do a lot of stuff. So we're actually going to do give it an idea of changing the part in workspace, but we're going to do a few ways of doing this. Now, with these conditions, there's kind of a lot of stuff you need to like look at um, kind of when you're talking about. So let's just say if you want to do workspace and then you could do like wait for child twin. Um, there's a lot of things so like wait for child find for child these are really good um, precautions to take for like wait for child's uh, something that you always need to use most of the times because it won't load in always and it really just helps out so we're gonna grab that part right here so this is workspace so that's what we're talking about you could do game.workspace or just workspace whatever you like I honestly don't know why I always do game.workspace because that's just so normal to me um, but yeah so we're basically gonna be grabbing this part right here and we are going to change the color so Let's let's just say we wanted to change this brick color, but in a certain way. So this would be how people would change it, okay? Without using local variables. That brick color equals color three uh, from RGB, and then we could just click this right here, and let's just do yellow. So if we were to do that and click run, um, oh, uh, brick color expected got color three. Oops, did I do? Uh, oh shoot. Brick color three. Oh wait, brick color. That. Ah, sorry guys. Thought new. Let's run that one more time. Sorry about that. So, um, basically. All right, sorry about that. I had to pause it for a second. Sorry. So brick color dot new, and then we're just gonna do really red. Sorry. Brick color dot new is something different. If you were to do color three RGB. That's um, grabbing uh, just like the RGB colors. But as you can tell, we changed this right here. So there's a reason we use the local variables. So as you can tell, we have this long line of code. And that's just really stupid. Why would we do that? We would just go here and see how we already have this. We already have this um, defined. So we would just delete that. And you as could tell, it's just gray default text. And what we would be grabbing is this still. And then we'd be changing that brick color. So now we can run it again. And it's going to be the same thing. It's going to change the color right here. So that is purposely the reason for these local variables. Now, if you were to do wait one and then do twin dot brick color, same thing equals brick color dot new. And then let's say crimson. Um, and then you could literally just keep repeating this. You could just keep going like, oh, da bada beam, bada boom. Basically, that's how it works. That's that is the reason for these local variables. Um, so as you can tell, it'll probably change. It's changing colors right now. Um, just waiting a second um, to change them but that's the whole point point. and now if you were wanting to do something like this you could also even do this so local twin um, no no okay so you then you could do local brick color well, well no let's do brick equals twin dot uh, brick color and then you could do brick you know color I should just say equals you know brick color Dot new. Actually, why would I even do that, you guys? You could just do it right here, twin, and then dot brick color. So then you just do that. All you would need is just this twin right here, and it would basically define that already for you. So you would already have that defined. That's basically the reason for this. Now, talking about um, functions and kind of just talking about like integers, let's just do this real quick. So my number, uh, number, if you let me say, is 50, okay? So I want 50 to be the number. Um, now, I'm going to do another video on functions and really talking about this, but I kind of just wanted to just get this out so you can kind of understand this, but um, this kind of still talks about local variables, so might as well just do this. So num1, and then we're going to do plus num2. Um, why am I doing num1? Sorry, guys. Num. And then we are going to do uh, my number equals my number plus 50, and then we're going to just print out. Uh, result and then we are going to look at something real quick all right so looking at my numbers and functions and stuff if we were just to run this what do you think is gonna happen it's not just gonna be um 
it's not just going to print out anything in here. It's just going to print out your 50 because you're only printing out this. And um, another re another thing about local variables too, um, I, I kind of didn't really talk about local functions, but that's kind of the whole thing of what I'm talking about is like global functions, local functions, everything like that, that can be accessed from other scripts. But this is not what we wanted. So now if we want to actually get this result, we could just do 500 plus 500, okay? So this is calling the function, which we'll talk about later, but um, we're gonna go in here. We're getting the two numbers right here. So I'm gonna be assigning this. And we're going to do local result equals num1 plus num2. And then we are going to uh, print that. But we also want to print my number as well. Um, so we'll see what I mean by you have 50 right here, okay? And then we do my number equals my number plus 50. Um, so when we click run, we get 1,000 and we get 100. So that's kind of my point to this and talking in, in general. So, yeah, it's... um. It's pretty nice and then let's say we just did my number again right out here um so we're gonna hit run you will see what i mean um you will get a thousand one hundred and a hundred and it's gonna be the same thing again as in saying we added to uh this local variable and it is now the containing the number a hundred so that's about it for this tutorial just something little simple um nothing too crazy it's just kind of like talking about i just wanted to talk about how they hold data and we can change them when we want to but um yeah you guys it's pretty it's pretty nice uh, to use so i hope you did enjoy this video just remember variables are very important and you need them in every single script without a doubt or else what would you be doing um so i just thought that could help you out if this did feel free to leave a comment and a like and a subscribe for me <laughs> but um i will see you guys in the next video thank you very much everybody i'll see you later Bye bye